Hi Capricorn, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general reading for the week of November 5th, 2018. Thank you guys for stopping by. If any of you have a Gemini connection, Gemini is getting the bonus video for the month of November and that will be on the channel's playlist here soon. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe and retweet them. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video. Okay, Capricorn, uh, energy a little scattered around you, but your drive for success is very high. Um, there is a warning of your anger, and I say this because it's that need to speak up <clears throat> and really voice your opinion this week. Don't let things go. It's time to speak up. Uh, there's some entertainment, perhaps an outing for you guys this week. Overall, it's looking pretty good. So let's take a look. This is for Capricorn. This is for your week, November 5th, 2018. Okay, Capricorn. We start with the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the Two of Pentacles, Major kind of the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups, and the King of Wands. So let's break this down for you guys. Also want to throw out there, it looks like you're going to be surrounded by quite a few people this week. Starting with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is unexpected offer of assistance. And for some of you, this could actually come into play in regards to your finances. Something that you're greatly going to appreciate because that, beside that, we have the Two of Pentacles. And Two of Pentacles showing you're not exactly where you want to be financially. You're juggling things a little bit. So definitely some financial relief coming into play. Now, going back to that scattered energy, I see that here with the Wheel of Fortune, indicating that your anxiety is abnormally high and you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed this week. Now, moving forward, we have that Seven of Swords, and this is your warning card, and this is where it might be where I'm seeing the flash of your anger and that need to speak up. Seven of Swords is someone lying to you. Uh, not a pretty card, but something you're going to have to call them out on. <clears throat> Next to that, in doing so, the King of Cups indicates your balance is restored, okay? And the King of Wands showing you guys are taking authority, you're taking initiative, you're taking control, you're getting the reins back. Moving forward, we have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Pentacles... Going back to your financial situation shows wise and practical financial decisions. You don't have a whole lot of money to work with, but you are making wise decisions and applying the money where it needs to be applied. <coughs> the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is looking over the past. What worked well, what didn't work well. And it's okay to reflect. But Capricorn, this is not a place to get stuck. Do not get stuck in the past. The Four of Wands indicating happy changes on the home front. Uh, doesn't actually indicate movement or anything, but something to that effect. It could be a project you're taking on and just making positive changes, but good changes on the home front. So, the only major arcana you guys have this week is that Wheel of Fortune, and it's indicating that you're going to be overwhelmed and your anxiety is going to be high. Other than that, it looks like a pretty fantastic week ahead. So thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.